I am paused and this is Paul's opinions on It is a majority draw It's a draw Let's hear it for both fighters at the sixth straight round of boxing The Nightmare KSI Logan The Maverick Paul This fight is a majority draw The last week was the biggest event in YouTube history Or at least until the rematch next May in the first fight, first of all, Rip scares man. Props to him from getting in shape and allowing himself to be Raka's punching bag and not going down. But the match we really want to see is Scarce vs my inspiration in the music industry. My dude Keemstar. And the next fight just confirmed the internet suspicion. That Jay Swingler of I super glued ye to my feet until it grew cheese and I glued my head inside a toilet with a hot It's an absolute meathead. After going to a majority draw, sorry, I mean, I mean judge's decision against the next guy to batter Joe Weller like Raka battered Scarce, the FIFA supply drop King and he sung Gib. Then next up was the fight I was personally most excited for, Deji vs Jake Paul. The main reason I was excited for this match was during the build-up, Deji didn't really have a lot to say, and was the underdog going into it. And the first thing I noticed going into the match was Deji had gone into shape, so props to him for that. And um, Scuff to Bane number one, Jake Paul, a master of handling crowds, probably due to his experience with his brilliant music life performances. And he has some horrible Nakatos. This match was very much a tale of two halves, the beginning with Deji matching Jake Paul blow for blow, and the half where Deji got knackered and battered by Jake Paul. And Jake Paul won after Deji's team threw in the towel, and after the fight, Jake Paul called out Chris Brown. So that's a thing. Now let's get to the main event. Ice Poseidon vs Adam22. Oh wait, wrong boxing event taking place on the 25th of August. I of course mean Africa via England versus America. KSI versus Scuffed Bane 2. The Nightmare versus The Maverick. Olajide Olatunji versus Logan Paul. So this was a decent fight to start with. As it went on, the excitement gradually died down and... Well, the ending as we all know by now... The infamous ending, a uh, majority draw, which led to people stating the obvious, which is that the fight was rigged. I know Logan and JJ are trying to uphold kayfabe but by denying it, but considering there's a rematch next May that will most likely take place in LA to exploit some Paul's audience, but instead of just stating the same thing over and over again as everyone else has, I'll state the fact that Logan Paul clinched 51 times during the fight. And yes, I did go back and count them, because that is supreme dedication. But what does this actually mean other than they wasted time to get to a draw? This means in order for the fight to be a majority draw, Logan Paul had to have had a better performance and was overall beating KSI, because clinching is technically illegal, and in regards to excessive clinching, the referee would remove points. And I'm pretty sure an average of 9 clinches a round is a little bit excessive. Now, I'm not saying the event was a massive scam and conspiracy, but instead, I think it was mainly between KSI and Logan Paul, because they realised the fight was going to make over £150 million, and what better way to make more money than by doing it again? But as of now, the rematch is scheduled for May of next year, and will most likely take place in LA to get money from those Logan and Jake Paulers.